Um, I've got that out of there. It's like the engine mount, and that's the rubber's missing out the middle now because that's how I got it out. Um, but yeah, that's out, and I've got another one here. So the rubber's in between there. You can just sort of see, and there's a like the inner bit and there's the outer bit so obviously the outer bit is the hardest bit to get out so what i'm gonna do do exactly how i did the other one i'm gonna pull the middle out first i'm gonna basically rip that out the rubber with this bolt and a socket then i shall get the rubber out i'll do the same with that and then i'll just be left with the outer piece um i did have to heat that quite a lot Obviously, I didn't heat it stupidly, but I had to keep warming it and um, drawing out with a bolt. There's a special tool for it, but I probably will never put these in again. So I'm not going to spend about £40 on the tool. So I'll show you how I did it. And I might have to speed up some of the times because it can. this was quite a slow process. But yeah, it is. that one's out. So hopefully this one goes a little bit easier. So I'll just get the tool set up. And all I'm going to do at the moment, that ear bolt is just resting on that behind in there so i'll just do that because i want to rip that middle bit out so then i get a, a socket there like so it is a the bolt isn't hardly long enough could done with being a tiny bit longer but it has grip there so if i just position that like that i've got a 17 mil socket and i'll have to hold it on the back with the spanner This should come pretty easy, this part. If you're shaking around a bit, I apologize. Just where it is. I don't actually have to hold that now. I'm trying to do it best I can for you not to shake. Just reposition slightly so you actually can see it so if you look there the bolt has started to disappear into there now is exactly what i want it to do and it i don't believe it's turning now because it's just gripping so i just keep doing this yeah and it's pulling at uh, this time it's pulling the rubber a bit as well thing is my sockets run out of um depth so i'll finish off with this a little bit now so how i get around that is i'll just hold the end with this we'll mess up the end of the thread a bit but it don't matter i've got other bolts so if i have to use them oh, we're out there you go so that's pulled the middle out. Um, there is a rubber left in there, or some of it. So what I'll do there is get some a bigger washer and draw the rubber out next. Around there, you can just sit in the bottom corner. There you go. Maybe a bit better. Just draw that out. Then I'll just be left with the outer bit like that. So then I'll go to the. Um, I've got a washer and some well piece off a lawnmower actually to sort all that out so I'll show you how I get out but I'm going to pull that rubber out the same way as I just did that so I'll move you around again and I'll get the tool set up so I've got all that set up to remove that middle rubber piece um I've got a washer just um so it just fits inside there on the other side there and then yeah I'm going to try and just draw it out I've used a slightly thinner bolt this time because I didn't have one long enough for the which was thicker but hopefully there isn't too much resistance it is starting to pull it already you might be able to just see that pulling through there let's try it down like that for a minute and we can swatch it
So I believe that's out now. It is. There's just minimal rubber left in it now. Most of it is in there. Buy a proper bearing like puller uh, sets, which I probably should invest in because I do that sort of thing quite a lot. But this is just showing you, you can do it with some general stuff you might just have around the shed. Yeah, if you do it like this and you are using thicker bolts in this, it's handy to have the, I think that's a three quarter inch socket. I haven't even got ratchet or anything, but I don't know where I got the socket from, but it does the job. And I might have mentioned earlier, I can't remember, but I've got the big one for the Land Rover as well, but that is only a half inch. But that's it's handy to have a range of sockets for this sort of job. So yeah, um, that's how I did it. It's just at that, that end, um, I haven't got a nut on there, but I could have held it with some grips if I had to have done, I didn't have to. And then just put that washer on that just to block up the other end. And I'll just show you, that's the sort of rubber we've pulled out, like so. There is still a little bit left in there, which I'll just scrape out off camera. You can see it in there. I've got most of it out. I can just use a craft knife to cut that off. Let's get the most off, because if I, I'll probably have to heat that inside so I don't the rubber will burn so I don't want it burning so I'll just do that off camera and scrape that around so I'm on to the next stage now getting that piece out so that is in there and that socket is about the right size top of there so I'll put that in there like so and then I've got this I've got this long bolt uh, and then the nut for it. So I'm going to put that in there like so, like that. Now I've got to show you it from the other angle. And then that socket will go on there. And then I'll just, um, I've got the nut and I I'll just put a washer on the end just to stop it pulling through there. And then um, I'll heat it as I go. I'll probably heat it before I do any of it actually in there because all the rubbers are, well, most of the rubbers off now. So I'll heat that. And then gradually pull it out through through there. So that's the plan anyway. That's how I did the other one. So hopefully this will work the same. I think with the heat it will. And then yeah, that'll pull that out. So yeah, that's my, my next job. So I'm ready to go. I'll give it a good heat as you saw. And now let's see, it might, hopefully it comes easier in the last one. But I might have to keep giving it heat, heat along the way. Don't think I'm gonna need that. Now it's gone extremely tight already. So back with the gas gun. That's what I wanted to do, keep, that's exactly how the other one went. Give it a bit of a warm. Went a bit more, so. Oh, this one's going much easier. To get to this stage, I had heat the other side about four or five times, and just bit by bit, but this one's been through quite, quite nicely. Shut the back there, you can see the, socket is disappearing in there. It's exactly what I want it to do. 
I've got my hand on there, but it isn't very hot now. Just watch it when you're using the heat. You can easy, I do it all the time, forget, forget, and then touch where you've just heated. And you've actually seen that in real real time before it did take her a lot longer i'm just gonna nut off there's the piece i've just pulled out there so yeah they come out nice and easy i've got two new ones of them already i said before it get a bolt with a proper nut on the end it would help just unscrew that just to show you the final bit it's out so we have the nut I've just got off just have a random washer to block it so the nut didn't go in there the big socket which just make sure it's big big enough than that which was the main bit i wanted to get out so it fitted in there just so and then the top end had that socket which i showed you before fractionally smaller than that but not much and then i just used that the top of there like so so yeah, that was my bush pulling setup and it worked and it's just stuff I had around the shed. So now that is all out in there. And like I said, I didn't have to heat this side nowhere near as much. 